Deep Kitty Girl. Hello, I'm Gong Bay for Gold TV, and I'm out here at the beach to meet Matt Damon of Pool Hunk. Today's guest is Pool Hunk Steelers number six, Connor Chapman. <laughs> so, how often do you come to this beach area? I like to come here maybe two or three times a week, maybe Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday when we got time off. Um, obviously, now it's, it's beautiful weather um, in Korea, so. What do you like to do at this area? I'm looking at the jet skis over there. Um, they look pretty fun and the water sports. So, um, But obviously laying on the beach and getting some sun. How highly would you recommend this area to people living outside Pohang? I think for sure you should come. Um, there's obviously great food. Uh, they're famous for their seafood mm -hmm. here in uh, Pohang. So I think Pohang is a great place. Uh, there's many beaches that you can go um, in the coast, maybe 20 minute drive. So. I think if you have a chance, you should definitely come to Pohong. So it's been a year and a half, yeah. how was your time in Korea for that time? I've loved Korea, um, I've been here before when I was about 14, um, I come for like a Nike camp, but after that um, I didn't really think much of it and then it came up and I took the opportunity straight away. Yeah, I've loved it so far, um, I love the culture. I love the food, the, the, the weather, the, the, the country itself. I've been all over to Busan, Seoul, um, Gangwon. Yeah, I'm loving it and I love Pohang. How do you think about Korea before you transfer it to uh, k I know that obviously um, worldwide, it's, it's obviously very well known, um, South and North Korea. And, but I mean, Samsung, Hyundai, um, I think it's, a very well-known country that, that a lot of technology and um, and things come out of Korea and like they're very smart people and um, when I come here 100% that's right. I mean there's little small things that make it so much easier for your, your daily life. Sengyeopso is obviously my favourite. I have a favourite place with the, the fried rice at the end and the cheese on top. Me and my girlfriend love that so. Well, is actually well known for the raw fish. Did yeah, you ever yeah. get a chance to try that out? I haven't done it in Pohang. I had um, the octopus where they mm. cut it up. The live? The live, right? yeah, yeah, and it's moving. Um, I had that in Incheon, so that was a very uh, interesting experience. <laughs> do, you, do you want to uh, try it again? Or? Uh, I had it in Pohang, and, I mean in Incheon, and um, I got sick the next day. <laughs> I think I'm just, I'm not used to having it, but I'll definitely try it again. Obviously there's a lot more games in Korea, there's maybe 38 games. In Australia there's 28, so there's 10 more games. Because some of the games maybe players are tired or um, the weather is hot, you know what I mean? So the quality of the game isn't as good. But I think the quality of both leagues are, are quite similar. I think Korean players are very fast, have a very good technique, uh, tactically very good. Probably a little bit more direct uh, with how they play their style. I think in Australia, we like to pass the ball a bit more. I, I, I like playing in, in the K-League and I like the Korean style. I think it suits my my game. I mean, for, for Pohang, we, we usually get good fans. Um, even at Incheon, uh, we had some good fans. But I mean, sometimes you go to games, we went to Sangju, and there wasn't as many fans. There's maybe 1,000 or something. But um, I'm sure the K-League is is trying hard to get fans back to the game. It's not easy in Australia. It's a, it's a big thing for um, sports fans to come to games now, and I think fans are dropping as well in Australia. So maybe giving free tickets to kids or something, and the parents can come with them, or or something like that, um, might help um, bring more fans. Is there any fan or fans <laughs> that you especially remember? Uh, there's one fan um, in Pohang that. Every game, like they take a photo with me before, when I get off the bus, they take a photo when I get back on the bus. So I always take my time to, to go over and give them my time and yeah, wave, wave to them in the crowd. And I think Pohang supporters, Incheon supporters also, 
there's a few that still message me um, every week and congratulate me. So uh, Korean Korean fans are very loyal. Do you always take mm. pictures with this fans? Yeah, it's it's like a it's a mum, a dad, and the daughter. Obviously, they're big Pohang fans, but yeah, they they always ask my photos, so I always try and give them my time and um, and pay them back. That's so, yeah. <laughs> How you like people calling you like Matt, Matt Damon? <laughs> yeah, I used to when I was younger. Um, I used to tell girls that I look like Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, yeah, it's something that I always try and claim. Um, but when I tell people, they don't really see it in Australia. But mm. I think coming to Korea, um, many people have told me that I look like Matt Damon. So now, yeah, for sure, Jason Bourne. Yeah, I'm very dangerous. <laughs> If you could, would you ever think of being an actor one time in your life? For sure. Yeah? <laughs> I mean, they get to live in LA, mm -hmm. they get to be rich, and um, they're famous, so for sure. It'd probably be some of the younger players, maybe Roman or Gipio. Gipio speaks quite good English, and but I mean, um, with all the younger players, like you can sort of talk and joke. Obviously, I'm still a little bit young, or well, I think I am, so. We're always having like a laugh together, and and yeah, and then obviously with the the, the Brazilians, um, Leo and uh, Alamel, they're always trying to have a laugh. So. So if you would have to choose one moment, one favorite moment from your national team period, what would that be? I think playing in Brazil in a World Cup. Um, I was captain for the team, and um, I mean captaining your country. My family were there, and. It was, it was something that I will remember um, for my whole life. Uh, I always loved um, Harry Kuehl, um, he was an Australian player, he played Liverpool. I idolised him like my whole room was Harry Kuehl. He went from like I supported Leeds United, he went to Leeds, went, then he went to Liverpool so I supported Liverpool and he went to a school in Sydney and that school was, was like a sports school so it was my goal as a kid to go to that school. So. I went to that school and followed like his his pathway, and yeah, he was pretty much my idol. Yeah. Oh wow, <laughs> it's amazing! I can give it to my uh, my grandma; she would love that. <laughs> hey, goal viewers, uh, Connor Chapman here. Thank you for watching the video, and um, hopefully, you get to understand who who I am. Hopefully, moving forward, um, I can score more goals and make more assists and and entertain the Korean people in the K-League and yeah, hopefully Matt Damon can score a few goals for the K-League. Goal TV, Kawaii, Kudu, money, money. <laughs>